I want to make sure over time I don't maintain or continue on a regular schedule of reinforcement. Think about this. You go to a pop machine. That's a regular schedule of reinforcement. You put your money in, you push the button, what do you expect? Can of pop. The next time you go to a pop machine, what do you do? Put your money in, push the button, what do you expect? Can of pop. You expect that every single time you put your money in and push the button. What happens the time that the machine eats your money? Kind of depends on your temperament, right? It's your personality. You either get mad and you push the button and push the button and hit the machine, or shoot, okay, and I'm, you know, sad, disappointed, frustrated. And you don't go back to that pop machine until you see a lot of other people having success with it. That's your dog if you use a regular schedule of reinforcement. If you pay every, I'm gonna pick on two on two off context because it's just a simple one to pick on. If you pay every single two on two off with a toy or food in training, you go into the ring and you don't pay. dog gets frustrated. That's the pop machine. Okay. Think about a slot machine. You go into a casino. You put your money in. You push the button, pull the lever. I don't know. I haven't been in a casino for years. What do you expect? Nothing. But what do you happily do? You put more money in, push the button again. Expecting nothing, hoping, but expecting nothing. And what do those machines do? Pay out just often enough to keep you willing to put more money in. You need to be the slot machine in your dog training. You need to reinforce often enough that your dog sees value in working with you. And sometimes it's hard to have enough value. I remember I pick on my dog Suspect. When he was an itty bitty baby, he was probably about eight weeks old, had just gotten him, so no real relationship established. And I happened to be teaching in a livestock arena in Laramie, Wyoming. And I got my toy out and I got my brand new little puppy out and I went to play in the livestock arena. He quickly announced to me, I did not have more value than horse manure. <laughs> didn't care that I've been on the world team a bunch of times, didn't care what things I've won. You have not got as much value as horse manure, okay? And so I had to take him out of the dirt and manure onto a relatively clean concrete pad where I could get my value high enough. All of a sudden now there are few enough distractions, he could focus on me. And my big success by the end of four days, I could take him out and tug in the midst of all of the dirt and manure.